Um, see you in the hot we wasn't there yet. Hello and welcome to your dad plays StarCraft 2. This is a little bit of replay that I hope some people will find helpful. Um, this is kind of a, a cannon rush reaction that's worked pretty well for me. So, in the lower left hand side of the map we have my opponent. Um, they've got a platinum board. In case you're wondering, this I'm in gold, they're in plat. So gold versus plat right now. Um, blue Protoss. Bakelicious. I assume it's a bacon type thing. And on the upper left hand corner of the map, we have your hero, your champion, your dad. Making some. Uh, I'm also in red. Um, making a ca uh, pile in the corner in case they snuck a snuck a probe in over there or something. Um, I haven't seen one yet. So I'm kind of wondering, I'm like, okay, where are they? But I did see, and this is the first important part, when I scouted, I saw Forge first. Forge first, dead giveaway, they're going to cannon rush me. But I caught it late enough that they already started. So my immediate reaction was to build a forge of my own. And that's because now I can make a cannon here. From this point forward... They cannot make, they cannot threaten anything in this cannon's range. Low ground, high ground, nothing. Because I got my cannon down first. If they build two cannons, I can build one more. If they build a third, I can build a third. They will never be able to get in this area. And that's why I built a pylon over here. But they got their cannons up first. Uh, my base is basically forfeit right now. So I'm going to send those two guys out. And this is the other part of the... I cancel my one guy's making, just because I need the resources. This is uh, the second part of the reaction you can do. Um, I'm building a secondary base in the corner. If they didn't see me sneak out, hopefully they won't know that I'm doing it. And now they have to spend resources leapfrogging bases. So I see them, they're defended, so I leave. Sometimes they won't have any defense and your zealots can go and, you know, have low party in their base. But right now, all I'm doing is I'm mining from safely from where I can so I don't lose probes. And then, um, alright, a few things. I built pylons here so that I can build cannons. Um, I am rebuilding a forge. But... This lets me build cannons. I build a cybernetics core before they take this out. So that I can transition into an air force. I also group my probes. Um, very small detail, but I group my probes in the corner. Um, we'll see it in just a minute. I put them up here. And I recall them down to this base. Now I still have a full base worth of units, pretty much, mining. Starting to get gas, you know, doing their thing. Um, the important thing about this is because I'm going to go into a Stargate transition. I don't need gateways because I'm not going to make ground units. I'm going to make a pylon in the corner so that they hopefully can won't see this transition if they do find my base. And I'm gonna start getting gas. I should have had this down sooner. Because I want I'm gonna do a double stargate into a uh, basically massing void rays and hitting them off of like one base void ray. And the reason I can kinda do all this is because if you look my defensive response was like, I already had a pile on here. A forge and a cannon, and this pylon. So, so this is what 150 minerals, 150, so 300, 400 minerals. They walked a zealot and it died. That's a 400 mineral investment. What they invest to do this to me? Every two cannons is 300. So 300, 600, 900. Pylons are 100. So 900, one, two, three. 1,200 resources they've invested so far to do this to my base. Um, they're still going to have to make units to take this stuff out. Especially if they can take this cannon out. They might try not to, but... 
You know, they invested 1,200, I invested 400. So my other 800 resources can go into Nexus, Pylon, so it's four, five, I think this is 150, so 650. The other four would just be even eight, and I would do another cannon, whatever. So I was basically able to rebuild my base in the difference of what they spent to get rid of my first one. Except now mine's defended against a cannon rush. Because I have cannons up of my own. I have a uh, shield battery for defense. They send in another zealot. It dies for free. Yeah, shield battery still at max. And we can go to double speed. Now I'm just making void rays. Um, I've got two. I probably could head out now, but I'm waiting for... Um, I'm waiting for four Void Rays because I want to make sure I have them overpowered. And I'm going to Chrono Boost one if I have the energy. I don't have the energy yet, so... Um, just be extra safe so I don't sneak in at the side. You know, another another uh, Shield Battery Cannon. And now we're just getting ready for the counterattack. Um, this Void Ray counter is pretty good. You could head out earlier with the two, the two Void Rays. Because, like I said, your opponent spent so much resources there, they probably are not ready for any type of air assault. As I move out, I'm building another base. base is under attack. Because I want to be ready to expand. And now, destroy that building, start depowering stuff. Um, prismatic alignment destroys armored units, and also buildings are armored. So, destroy the units that can your shoot up. Oh, you know, anything that can aim at the sky, kill it. Take out some pylons, depower them so they are going to be running low on supply and they're not making units to attack you. And they keep throwing in stalkers that keep dying. I should have focused down that mineral line, honestly. Um, I let like 16 workers or something get out for free. I could have just killed them. Um, put more minerals on that base. Keep killing stuff here. And I'm just kind of expanding while taking their stuff out. I'm also still building Void Rays. I have my Stargates on a hockey. So I can keep building Void Rays without looking at my Stargates. And this is the thing. Void Rays of Prismatic Alignment destroy cannons and pylons. They eat through them so quick. Like, I haven't lost a Void Ray yet. And, you know, now the game's over. They've, they've surrendered. And in my experience, like... Not that I have tons of experience with it, or I'm a master at this, but this seems to be a pretty, a pretty good counter. Um, you can either do the cannon thing, or just sneak away, build a base, get a little bit of defense up, but build a base, rush for stargates, and the cannon rusher has spent so much energy and minerals and time setting up static defense around your base and leapfrogging it further into your base to take your base out that they actually haven't, you know, they haven't been building a bunch of units, building a ton of economy or anything like that. Um, they've been building their early game stuff into shutting down your one base. And if it just turns out that you have a second base, and you can recall all your probes there, so you don't even have to rebuild those workers, you don't lose anything, it's, it's a strong move against them. That's why the two um, Void Rays can usually work really well because they're just not set up to fight against it. And you can have two more, you can actually rally them to your Voidery. So you can have two more rallying to the fight as you're going through. So yeah, if you've been having trouble with Cannon Rush, um, hopefully this shows you. Like I said, um, in this game, I'm gold, my opponent's platinum, or they at least have platinum border. So, yeah, not like you know, not an ultra high level game, but still just Cost for cost, efficiency and resource wise, it can be a lot cheaper than like you know building a robo bay and immortals and you know busting out, especially if the cannon rushing you, not cannon containing you. Um, containing's different, but yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. Hopefully it helps you out next time you get cannon rushed. Um, or not not specifically contained, but rushed. And. Yeah, until the next video, I've been your dad. Thanks for stopping by. 
I'll see you next time.